In this sequence of projects for Scratch Junior, we continue to reinforce and introduce a variety of coding practices and concepts. Our sequence begins by learning how to modify the appearance of existing sprites in order to create an interactive alien planet. Our next project shows coders how to modify a backdrop to make it look like nighttime for a short story about a monster hiding under our bed. The next project asks coders to storyboard and code their own predictions for the future. In the following project, coders learn how to create their own sprites to animate their name or vocabulary words. We continue to reinforce our understandings of parallelism through an interactive diorama about a jungle, as well as learning some introductory user experience design concepts. Stop that. These understandings are further reinforced in an interactive aquarium. The Dribble a Ball project is a short project about simulating motion through code. Our next two projects introduce and reinforce a new block, the Go to Page block. This allows young coders to create stories with multiple backdrops or scenes. For example, the Rainy Day project is a multi-page story about a rainy day at school. The following multi-page story is about a pirate cat's adventure to find buried treasure. This sequence concludes with a randomized synthesis project where coders apply their understandings by storyboarding their own projects for randomly generated project ideas. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.